Congratulations on uh, Spin Me Round. It's uh, it's is it hard to do a romantic comedy these days? Um, I feel like any movie is hard to do these days. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, I mean, I guess you know, clearly this isn't um a traditional romantic comedy, and if anything, it probably is drawing attention to the absurdities of romantic comedies themselves. Mm. But yeah, I mean, I think producing a film in the times of COVID can be quite challenging. Yeah. And I think, I think it's hard, you know, during COVID, during the bubble, you know, and all of that to highlight a city or a, a country and just, you know, have people fall in love with it, but you did a great job. Oh, thank you so much. Um, when, when you write as a screenwriter, when you write, do you write usually alone? Because this was, you know, co-written by uh, um, Alison Brie with you. Yeah, so my last two movies, I, I collaborated with Allison, both with her performance as, as the lead and as a co-writer. Um, my first movie that got produced was with another co-writer, which is I Heart Huckabees with David Russell. Yeah. And then everything between those movies, I've just written by myself. Um, it's definitely nice to have a, a, a co-writer and a collaborator to bounce ideas off of. and. Um, to me, writing is very lonely and hard, and it's nice to have someone suffering with you at the same time. <laughs> and obviously, having Allison, who's an incredible actress and you know such a talent, um, it's it's hard to match that to be able to have someone that you're able to conceive something with, and then they go off and are in front of the camera, and you collaborate with them in that way, and they can also sort of set the tone, and you know that they know where you're going, which is great. Which is which is why I think I think spin me round really really works because you know you you have a woman writing this with you and she sees the stuff that maybe a man writing a rom com you know won't see and and it just broadens the comedy so much. Definitely, I mean, I think I think having a a, a woman's point of view was essential. Mm -hmm. um, there's a lot of stuff we drew from in Allison's personal experience. But I think, you know, obviously as a man, I wouldn't have had those experiences to draw from. And uh, I think there's some subtle stuff perspective wise that in general, I think, you know, it just having two brains is better than one. But having a male and female perspective, I think, was invaluable for this project in particular. I understand uh, from SAG after that if you hire your wife, you don't have to pay her. Is that true? Um, we didn't get that memo. <laughs> um, no, you, you, you have to pay everyone. Oh, I'm, I'm just kidding. Um, I know, I know the, uh, uh, but, but working with your wife, is that, a, is that a joy? Is it, is it hard to work with your wife on a production? I, this movie was an absolute joy to work with her. Um, I, you know, I think she's been around the block and has done a bunch of stuff. We've obviously worked together a bunch of times as well. So she knows my process, which is great. And uh, I think having her sort of as an ambassador for the film was incredible. So when you know she wasn't shooting and some of the other actors weren't shooting, she would take them on day trips. So she was sort of a de facto camp counselor on this, which was excellent. <laughs> and obviously, you know, making movies is hard and having to go to another country can obviously take its toll, especially if you're, if you're in a committed relationship. So not only having her who, as an incredible actress, an incredible talent who I, I think, you know, brings so much to the table. Like it's, she's a dynamo. That's obviously like an incredible boon, but then also having your partner be able to be with you while you're out of the country for several months is, is also incredible. So um, yeah, she's, she's a force of nature. And I think, um, it's no, it's it's no coincidence that anytime she's in something, even if it's a small part, people always talk about it. Yeah, she's she's an incredible talent, and uh, and and this film really, you know, it, it boasts of some great <clears throat> people. I mean, you were really lucky in getting the cast. You got Trisha Helfer, uh, Fred Armisen is in it. Uh, what an amazing uh, uh, stroke of luck to get everybody. Yeah, I love Trisha Hufflar. I, you know, it's funny, Tim Heidecker, who's in the movie, I, I've known him for over 20 years. And um, sort of like around the time when I 
first started dating Aubrey, uh, we started playing the Battlestar Galactica board game together. <laughs> and it's just funny to think, you know, cut to like whatever it is, like 11 or 12 years later that here we are, um, you know, actually working with Trisha Helfer, who's the best. Like, I love her. She's so incredible. She's so talented. And she's one of the kindest human beings on the planet as well. Absolutely. I think I did the first interview with her for Battlestar Galactica, and she just blew me away at, at just her knowledge and 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 the things that she uh, uh, she knows. I mean, she's just an incredible person. Yeah, she's incredibly smart and incredibly kind, incredibly talented. In working in Italy, though, I mean, do you run into problems logistically? The Italians seem to, well, being one, the Italians seem to be very, very, you know, we show our love at the top of our lungs. And so they seem to be very boisterous. <laughs> Is that true? Uh, I mean, the, the Italians are the best. Like, I, you know, I, I shot another movie there back in 2016, and something keeps bringing me back to that country. I, that, you know, I was just there a couple months ago. Aubrey was shooting White Lotus in Sicily, so I went to go visit her, and then we got to travel throughout the um, country a little bit. Um, yeah, I would say like, the, you know, Italian filmmaking is 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 some of the best, and has inspired me to become a filmmaker. Specifically, Fellini growing up was an important person and uh, inspiration. And I think they have a tremendous infrastructure there to, to make films, especially as a foreigner, to come there and have a production services company help you manifest that. Mm -hmm. um, in addition to, you know, the landscape, the people are absolutely incredible and, and generous and kind and um, hardworking. And I mean, I, I would shoot all my movies in Italy if I could. <laughs> Well, in our in our final moments we have together, uh, tell me what you think audiences are going to take away from Spin Me Round. Good question. Um, I think some people will probably find it amusing and probably just latch on to the humor. I think some people might be more interested in some of the interpersonal dynamics that are problematic and how that sort of... Uh, mimics what's been going on the last couple of years in terms of awareness for uh, some unsavory stuff that's been happening. I think some people might just get off in the aesthetics. Some people might, might hate it. Who knows? <laughs> but like, whatever it is, no. uh, I just hope, I hope people, hope people just enjoy it. I think they will. I think it's, it's just a lovely film and, and, and brings us back to, a lovely time in, in, you know, I mean, it's a, it's a beautiful throwback to some great films and uh, romantic films. So I, I really appreciated that when it came by. And by the way, I did the junket in Toronto for I Heart Huckabees and it's, Oh my I, God. Did we meet there? I mean, I, I remember. I was we, there. Yeah, I was there. Yeah. We were, I think we were at the four seasons, weren't we? Four seasons for sure. Yeah. That was, that was so long ago. Yeah. That was my yeah. first thing. Yeah. I was, I had hair then. So it was. <laughs> Jeff, take care of yourself and and uh, say hello to your wife. Congratulate her on Emily the Criminal. What a great what a great thing that was! And just yeah. keep it up. I want to see more films. Definitely. And uh, we shot in Tuscany, your your hometown. My hometown. We have oh, a winery. I have a family winery, Toscano Wines, out there. So I'll, I'll send you some bottles. I'll tell you that. I'll do that. Great. I love wine. <laughs> <laughs> well, you take care and have a wonderful day. And thank you for your time. Thank you so much, Tony.